Hey everybody, John Van Dyke here for New Jersey Exposed. Today is Tuesday, January 18th, 2022. Time is 3.14 p.m. Yes, Jersey time, a very cold Jersey time. Okay, so many of you have probably already seen this video. It really is... Uh, a good example of something that I've been talking about all the time about how big guys solves problems and law enforcement is a field that big guys like to go into because these big guys like physical contact with other people. They like beating people up. They, they get their nut off to it. And trust me, I know. I was a small one of the smallest people in my class and I had to deal with big guys every once in a while, either in school or on the street, whatever. I know how they operate. Violence, intimidation, threats of beating you up is the way they solve problems. They can't help it. I don't know if there's enough training you could ever give them to resolve that problem because they go into primal instinct and primal mode and that's what they resort to. So this video here is about a sergeant who was having an argument with a with a citizen and the citizen was in the car and he happened to be black I might add and I guess things are starting to escalate and a good officer, a female officer came over to try to stop the situation and she pulled the sergeant away and what did the sergeant do? He turned around and grabbed her by the throat and pushed her back. That is an excellent example of how big guy, big dumb guys like that, resolve problems. He didn't like the fact that she intervened. And this is also another good example of what happens when an officer tries to do the right thing. And that officer did the right thing by intervening. And I wish we could have more officers doing things like that and backing them up. I'm curious to find out what's going to happen to her because we all know how that works out when a good officer stands up and tries to do something about a bad situation being created by another officer. It usually does not have a good outcome for them. Now, Officer Big Head, big dumb guy there, you, I mean, you know, the arms like that, it's a big guy. He's on desk duty. He should be suspended. In my opinion, he should be suspended. He assaulted that woman. He grabbed her by the neck and assaulted her. He probably grabbed it enough that she was choking her, cutting off the breathing. But as, as I heard on this video, is he has been put on desk, which is BS as far as I'm concerned. How many of you people out there could go to work and one of your co-workers comes up and stops you from doing something you shouldn't be doing and you turn around and grab them by the throat and push them back? How many of you think out there would still have their job? I know I would not have my job, either one of them. I would be fired. And in my one job, the boss would probably come grab me by the neck. So... Another good example of how bad cops are treated. Instead of being canned or fired, he should be suspended without pay and sent home until the investigation's over. None of this putting him on desk detail. That's bullshit. You know nothing's going to happen to that cop. The worst thing case scenario is going to happen to him is maybe he's going to get a, a, a few days off from work or something. Now, in the... In the event that he is put up for fire, get, to get fired, no doubt, because he looks like he's a little up there in his years, that he's going to put his resignation in before he gets fired. And as I always say, if you were on the job and you did something like that that's causing you to get fired, that's it. No resigning because it took place while you're working. It didn't take place after you resigned. But, you know, this is how it all works for the Blue Zero Hero, the Blue Line gang. You know, it's all designed to protect them, protect bad behavior, and punish good behavior. So, I want to say that that female officer, I don't know who she is. I'm sure she's uh, she's an underrank. She's not saying, you know, she's probably just a patrol officer and... Uh, 
I want to say that she deserves to get an award for sure. She definitely was the hero that day. And if I was her, she should go sign a complaint against him for assault. That's what she should do. File a complaint against him for an assault. And I would encourage everybody out there to contact that police board and send them an email. And, uh... File a complaint against him uh, because his behavior is definitely unbecoming of an officer. It's disgusting. And what more can we say about it? I, oh, you know, I want to say this. The video's gone viral, so I put the video up. You, you can go just get the raw video off of YouTube. Put it on your Facebook. We got to make it go viral. You know, it's like 330 million people need to see that video. So everybody sees what an a-hole, that big fat dumb, I shouldn't say fat, that big Check dumb the and make sure it there. Sergeant, right. no less, who should know better, which makes it even more of a reason to fire his ass. So the whole world gets to see what he is and... No doubt the uh, the blue line the, the blue line uh, goo uh, swallowers the blue dick suckers bootlickers the cop apologists uh, whatever you want to call them no doubt they're uh, they're making their excuses and, and rationalizing why he uh, shouldn't be in trouble right people so okay so you see the video let me know what you think about that in the comment section till next time people. Sound right, boy. A sergeant at uh, the Sunrise Police Department is now under investigation. Body cam video shows Sergeant Christopher Police involved in an argument with a, a, spus, as a suspect pardon me, during the uh, felony arrest, and at one point he pulls out pepper spray but doesn't use it. That's when a female officer tries to intervene, and Sergeant Police puts his hands around her throat and pushes her back. According to the Sunrise Police Chief, the sergeant escalated the encounter instead of de-escalating it. He has been placed on desk duty while this investigation continues. Also this morning.